Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill. How are you guys doing? I'll tell you what, every day it gets a little weirder around here and you know all we can do is just hope for the best. So yesterday our governor here in the state of Washington declared an emergency mandatory stay at home order. So we can go to the grocery store or a doctor's appointment and that is basically it. But you know, we've got the garden and we've all got each other. We are a gardening community and it's so important to keep our spirits up and to use the garden as a therapeutic outlet. So there's not a whole lot going on in the garden today as usual because it's still very chilly, but I do have one thing to show you. Now before I do that, I wanted to tell you that my March 29th garden column is about a positive experience that we have had as a result of folks needing to shelter in place. And I hope that you'll read it. It'll be available on my blog starting on March 29th. Now in the meantime, let me show you something that's happening in the garden. So take a look at this bed. This is the garlic bed and the garlic is up. Yay, it's so nice to see something growing. Now one other thing that's quite different about our garden is that there are some trees missing on the eastern side of it. You can see there's a private road that runs along it. So earlier this season, I mentioned how we were going to have some trees cut down. And you know, Bill and I do not like the idea of cutting down trees because we know how important they are to the environment. But sunlight is crucial to a productive vegetable garden. So we decided let's just go for it. So we hired an arborist, had the trees cut down. And the interesting thing that has happened as a result is when folks walk by or drive by, they can very easily see us working in the garden now. So they stop and they say hello from a safe distance, of course, but it's been a very positive impact at a time where positive is exactly what we need. <laughs> Today's topic is how to harden off your seedlings before planting them in the garden. I'll explain what it is, why it's so important, and how to do it. These are my artichoke plants that I started from seed and they're doing really well. Now, if it was time for me to plant them out in the garden and I moved them directly into the garden, there are some serious ramifications. That's because these plants have been growing indoors all their life so far, and they are not used to the temperatures or the intensity of the sunlight, especially the sunlight. You might think that a grow light is really bright, but it can't come anywhere near as intense as the sun. So it's important for me to gradually get them acclimated to the temperatures and the sunlight so that they'll grow well. These plants need to go through what is called the hardening off process. And before I show you how simple it is to do, let me explain what would happen if you planted the seedlings directly in the garden. What you would see the next day is white plant leaves. And that is a plant's version of sunburn. Now you might think, oh, I've been sunburned. It's no big deal. Well, on a plant, it's a huge deal and it can kill them. So I'm sure you did not start your babies from seeds only to have them die a day later because you bypassed this important step. Now let me tell you how easy it is to do. To harden off your seedlings, what you're going to do is put them outside for one hour on the first day and then bring them back indoors. The second day, you're going to set them outside for two hours and bring them back in third day, three hours, and so on. If you keep increasing the time by one hour each day over the course of a week, the plants will be very acclimated to both the intensity of the sun and the temperatures. This is such an important step and it's really very simple to do. It's really important to put them out in filtered light for the first day or two just to ease them into what the real world is like. 
And the other thing I like to do is to set a timer so that I don't get busy doing other things and forget to bring them in after their allotted time outdoors. I usually put mine right outside our sliding glass door because it's easy to see them off and on and then it reminds me as well that the plants are out there and they're on a schedule and they'll need to come back in soon. Okay, that's everything you need to know about hardening off your seedlings and why it is so important to do. Thanks so much for watching this video, everybody. Remember, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll get through this. And in the meantime, enjoy your garden.